So far in this series, we've been covering the Series 3 Land Rovers in 172nd scale that have been offered by Karama. Now it's time to come to the Defenders. Two body styles have been offered, i.e. the 90 and the 110 version. By far the biggest of these is the 110 with multiple options in colours and liveries etc. But the uh, 90s are somewhat less in offerings and uh, basically limited to a choice of a blue or a red one. Which is quite a shame because it's a very nice little casting. Now the wheels fitted to both the 90 and the 110 versions of the models have tended to be limited to two different types. And as can be seen, the only difference is the fact that uh, a circle has been added around the hub area in the center of the wheel, possibly for strengthening purposes, or maybe it was an ease of production, but uh, certainly there's no other changes to the wheel. So uh, you'll generally find that the Type C is the early and the Type D comes with the later model. First off, we'll deal with the blue version. Now, this is very difficult to find. Um, I've only seen the one and I was fortunate enough to win it on one of the auction sites. It's marked up as a Hongwell and uh, it comes with Type C wheels. All these uh, short wheelbase don't have uh, a number plate as such, it's just marked up as a Land Rover. And as you can see, it really is a nice model. Um, the proportions look really great and uh, uh, I'm surprised they haven't done more colours in this. It, it really would have lent itself to some of the other colour schemes that they've applied on uh, previous models. We don't know of any production differences in these, basically due to the fact you don't get to see them that often. So um, there could be differences out there, but we just don't know. Now we move to the red one, and uh, all these are branded as Shuko, and there are two to be had. One is a lighter shade of red than the other, and uh, on photographs it can be very difficult to distinguish which is which. So the giveaway is the later version has type D wheels with the uh, noticeable extra circle in the middle of the hub. So there you have it. Um, these are really good models. The bases are just like a shortened down version of the previous one. All are crew, screw fixed. And uh, these have a nice addition of the mud flaps added to the rear. So just to recap, the early version is red with type C wheels and the later version is a lighter shade of red with type D wheels. Uh, it has to be said that the early version is also difficult to find and sellers tend to list them with um, stock pictures which are taken, I presume, from the uh, Shuko catalogue. So it can be a bit awkward to know which one they are actually offering for sale. So just be aware of that. We now move to the 110 version. And these are split into two categories, which are basically the unliveried and then the ones that bear liveries or decals, etc. In the unliveried ones, there are eight different combinations to be found in colours, etc all bear the white roof and the wheel types are spread across type c and type d with most of these uh, unliveried ones having just a land rover in place of a number plate now the second group uh, or subgroup in this uh, section is the uh, land rovers that bear the liveries of one organization or another now, some of these are very easy to get in the UK, and some of them are virtually unobtainable. But we shall come to that when we cover these in a future video. Now, if you require any information on any of these models, um, all the variations are listed on our website, which the details will be posted at the bottom of this page. But until the next video, hope you're all enjoying these. Happy collecting.